All right, so before we begin, we need to make sure that we have connected the IB outlets from our news headline table view cell to the prototype cell that we just added. So let's go ahead and right click. And you can see that the description label, title label, image, uh, the headline image view, they're not really connected. So let's go ahead and connect the title label. I'm gonna go and connect it over here. And we will connect the description label. This one goes over here. And we can also go ahead and connect the uh, headline image view. But right now we don't really want to do anything with the image view. Uh, we can simply display some sort of a hard coded image. Uh, we can display, I mean, you can definitely connect it if you want, that's fine. We will not really be setting it up. So what we want to do is since we are just testing it out that if our, uh, the cell sizing cells are appearing correctly or not, we can simply put some sort of a hard coded image. So I've already downloaded an image. So let me see if I can find it. It's right here. And for that, it's a good idea to create a new folder. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder called images and somehow drag that image into our folder. So there we go and go ahead and add it. All right, once again, the whole point of doing this is just to see that if our self sizing cells are working correctly or not. We are not really going to be using any real data. We will be simply creating some dummy data and then populating our cells with that. I'm gonna go ahead and select the image view and going to assign some hard coded things, which is an image that we just added, that's fine. And now I can go ahead and write some code to display all of these things. So let's go to our news headline table view controller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to create a, some sort of an array which will contain a dictionary. Don't worry, we will delete all of that. So all of this is simply some dummy data that we will delete. And I want to say this is the title. And for the description key, this is a dictionary. We will say this is the description. And guess what? I'm just going to copy paste this again, just to have a little bit more multiple lines in the description. There we go. All right. All right. So now we can go ahead and somehow try to display the news into our table view. So the first thing is number of sections, which is equals to just one. Make sure that you override that this function is part of the UI table view data source delegate. And then we have number of uh, rows in section. So number of rows in section will be equal to the self.news, which is an array, dot count. Fine. And the most important one is the self for a row at index path. This is where we are going to get the cell. So let cell equals to table view dot dq the cell with identifier. We haven't really given any identifier. We will have to do that. And the identifier will call it news headline table view cell for index pad. We're gonna pass an index pad and we are going to cast it to a news headline table view cell. And we are going to use the guard. If that casting fails, we don't really have anything else to do. We can actually just throw an error that news headline table view cell not found. All right. If it is found, we are going to go ahead and obviously return it. But before returning, we also have to set up some properties. All right. So let's go ahead and set up some properties to it. So the first thing we're going to do is say cell.title label.text equals to self.news and news a certain item of the news. So this will be the index path dot row. And we're looking for a certain key, which is title, and we will cast it to string. Let's go ahead and build that. I don't know if we have to cast it as a string or not. Let's see, we'll see that. And then the second one will be description label dot text equals to self dot news and index path dot row. And we are going to look for a key in the dictionary called description. Okay. Now, once again, all of this code, this part and this part 
and obviously this one is all just dummy code, static code. We will throw this away. Don't worry too much about it, all right? The final thing we need to do is to go ahead and set up the news headline table view cell. So I'm gonna to go to my storyboard, select the prototype cell, and make sure that the identifier is set to news headline table view cell. Great, let's go ahead and build that. And let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's go ahead and run it and see that how our interface looks when we display that dummy information. Okay, looks fine, but we need more cells. So we definitely need more items so that we can completely validate that it is wrapping or not. Don't worry, we'll go back again to our news headline table view controller. And we are going to try to add another dictionary. So I'm gonna just copy this dictionary and don't worry too much about it because we are going to delete this. Here we go. And instead of title, I'm going to copy this. Oh, this is the title actually. This is fine. So title, I'm going to say title, title. And for the description, I'm going to copy it maybe like three times, one and two more. And now let's see that how it actually displays. All right. So now we have two dictionaries inside an array. And here we go. You can see that one of the cell is much smaller and one of the other cell is much bigger. And this is called the self-sizing cells in a table view, meaning that the cell, we have created some constraints using storyboard that will allow us to create cells that are just automatically going to resize based on the content. Isn't that cool? I think it's really, really amazing. Let's go ahead and do that again for one last time. I'm gonna copy this. And for title, I'm going to go ahead and see if the title also wraps or not. And for the description, I'm going to add a little bit more description to it. Description, oops, and maybe it should be inside. Here we go. And description, and let's go ahead and run it again. All right. All right, there we go. You can see the title, this one is smaller, this one a little bigger, this one, the title even is wrapping correctly, and the description is displayed beautifully. All right, isn't that amazing? I think this is really cool. And this is kind of like an indication that our constraints that we have set up on the cell sizing cells are working correctly and uh, it will work out just fine. Obviously, when we move further into these section, when we are creating or fetching the news and getting the news, we will remove all of this stuff. This is all just to see that our cells are appearing correctly or not. All right, now in the next sections, we will be starting to create our web service, which is going to be consuming data from the news API service. So let's get started with that now.